everyone. Hello. Happy Wednesday and our Wisdom Wednesday. Wisdom Wednesday. So I thought we would uh, kick off this Wednesday. Oh, we're yeah. going gonna to do a series and it's called How Do You Preserve Your Energy as an Entrepreneur? And this is our, hey, Brandon. Oh, wait. How did you? And I thought on as another person. <laughs> In this series of video number one, um, the title is You Are What You Eat. Health. I'm sure you heard this before. Wellness. Yes. Energy. I preserve energy. Yes. Well, it all starts with your body, and it's pretty <clears> obvious. <throat> and I know that everybody knows that you're supposed to eat healthy, but what does that truly mean? Yep. Because it means something different for everyone. Um, and there's all these different fat diets out there. And I am. First of all, I want to put out there that we're not experts in the field of diet. We're not certified in any sort of um, nutrition. Nutrition, um, and and there's certain things you can do to really get in rapport with your body and start listening to what your body truly wants. And we have a couple techniques for that. Yeah, so we're going to share those techniques with what we use. Um, so when it comes to the body, I, I believe that throughout the day. You know, if you're feeling like around two or four o'clock, you have this like where all your energy leaves you. Um, I know that I used to feel that quite often. Um, there's something that's going on. Maybe there's something physically going on, the nutrition that you're putting in your body that's not in alignment. Absolutely. So one thing we think, you know, we have clients that we work with and they come and they're still not feeling like their optimal health is there. You know, one thing that's really important is you know, getting your mindset right, the psychology around what you eat. So many, so much of us, many of us, we're, we're busy, we're behind schedule, we got a lot to do, a lot to get done in the day, and we just take for granted what we put in our mouth, right? What we grab for lunch, fast mm -hmm. food, whatever it is. Here's the bottom line is if you do enough research out there, soda is sugar water, okay? <laughs> I can't tell you how many people we talk about health and wellness and how the stuff we put in our body is literally exactly what you're feeding your mind which is why we like to feed our mind personal growth, development, good stuff. There's so many people that still drink crap and put it in their body, and they're okay with that. So, I mean, there, there's, there's some things out there that if you do enough research, you'll realize this stuff is extremely unhealthy. Of course, you got to do your own research. Don't trust us. We've done a lot of our own research. But the last six, seven years now that we've been together, we've cut a lot of stuff out of our diet. And, and I think a lot of us, if we look at, and kind of do an audit of what we eat on a daily, weekly basis, we could probably do the same. We could find out some unhealthy habits. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah, and the unhappy, unhealthy habits start to creep in, and before you know it, it becomes a theme in your life when it comes around food. Right. So one of the things that shake it up is something that we call muscle testing. Yep. And it's actually... We also talk about this in the hypnosis training. Um, it's really just getting in rapport with your body because I know that going down this rabbit hole of all the different things that I thought because I would read something or I'd hear about something and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to try it. And then I would go down this rabbit hole of eating very specific to high diet like paleo or keto or vegan. However, I wasn't really asking my body what it wanted. And the problem is, is that whenever we go down these these fads and we we almost like we put ourselves in a box, and sometimes we're not meant to be put in a box. No, in we're fact, not. one day I may um, may be doing better with uh, having more protein in my diet, and then some days I may conscious my intelligence, my body may do better with having more vegetables. An example is like for vitamins. A lot of people just take the same amount of vitamins every day. We tend to muscle test. Recently, I've been muscle testing for a lot less vitamins, and I just haven't been taking many. My body is telling me, my mind and my body are telling me, you know what? Maybe you're good on that much vitamin C. Maybe you don't need 3,500 milligrams of vitamin C today. Cool. I won't take it. Right? Yeah, before, we just bond. Or I'll take a lower dose. You know, you know, what is the average of what you're supposed to be taking for a specific vitamin? And we would just be blindly taking it, not really asking our body, is that what you need? And um, some of the stuff that we get in the master class upon the work of Dr. Hammer, you don't know necessarily what your body's doing because you could also be uh, closing something out spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and certain organs currently during 
through processes. So if your liver is already working through something because some sort of significant emotional event or something that's a transition that's going on in your life will affect your organs differently. And so if you're loading your foods that aren't necessarily easy on those organs, you may be doing things that your body doesn't necessarily like. And so we were taking tons of vitamins that um, were out of alignment testing it, I actually cut back significantly. And all of a sudden, I start having this boost of energy again. So the, the big picture thing that we want to get across is we need to start listening to our How do we get into rapport with ourselves is the question. And we need to start listening <clears throat> to our bodies. How do we preserve that energy? Yeah. yeah. So one way is muscle testing. Some of you know about this. We also use um, APT on how to actually communicate to your, your unconscious mind. By the way, um, we, we don't really talk about hypnosis much because we're what always talking hypnosis? about NLP. So many well, people are freaked out by hypnosis. Well, it's such a word for a lot of people. For us, it just really truly means that you're in rapport with yourself. So hypnosis, here's a big picture overview of what hypnosis is. Hypnosis is, are you able to follow and start? Because if you say, I can't be hypnotized. Guess what? Good, you won't be. It's all about following instructions. That's all it is. Hypnosis is very basic. It's very simple. Um, and technically, the smarter you are, the deeper you can go. The more logical you are and you get really you know, good creativity, <laughs> you get down into details, you're going to actually go down into hypnosis deep. And that doesn't mean you're asleep. You're totally conscious, by the way. It's a conscious Bypassing the conscious mind and you're talking and communicating to the unconscious mind. It's actually a really fun, enjoyable, calming process, we think. And so why are we talking about hypnosis when we're talking about diet, when we're talking about performance? Well, hypnosis is one of the best ways to get in communication with your body. Yes, it is. Hands down. I mean, that's truly what hypnosis means to me is communication to yourself. It allows you to get in rapport with your mind and your body and have them totally integrated. So wait, what's the difference between meditation and hypnosis? It's the same thing. It is. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't clear on that. Now I am. So through guided meditation, um, through a deep induction with prayer. Your when prayer. you pray, you're praying to your unconscious mind you call her well we believe the the unconscious mind has direct access with the higher self yes so you're downloading hits from the higher self at the same time so anytime you do a guided meditation anytime you do self, um, self meditation or we call it self hypnosis um, anytime you're working with a partner and you having this exchange of energy when you're in sales you're actually in trance together when you're driving you're in trance when you're watching TV you're in trance trances solution trances yes there's relationship trance. <laughs> That's right. You want to be in a good trance. And we had one last night. <laughs> yes, we did. And then we found the solution. Woo! We found the solution. Through a uh, hypnosis track. Yes, that, we do. <laughs> that we do together. That's right. Yes, we do. So um, hypnosis is a really good way um, for optimizing your health. You can... Um, in touch with your conscious mind, the intelligence of your body, and uh, give suggestions for healing, to speed up the heal healing capability, to give more energy to specific areas of the body. Um, you can also talk to your unconscious mind, which we're going to show you in a moment, through muscle testing, talk to your unconscious mind to see if um, the food that you're putting in your body is in alignment. By the way, there's a lot of athletes professional athletes, poker players that have all used hypnosis, Tiger Woods being one of them, um, used hypnosis to really get in control of his golf game, mm -hmm. to have more clarity, more focus. Jack Nicholas, another golfer, used it to um, get away from distractions and really um, kind of claim that hypnosis really helped him eliminate distractions. So he ended up taking his game to another level. So there's just so many great uses um, and just techniques within hypnosis to kind of clear and calm the mind. And one of the fastest ways for you to get in rapport with your body is through hypnosis. And one of the things that we do is muscle testing. And we, we do it in the training pen, which is super, super duper accurate. However, you can do it with food too. 
and um, and you can do it with your body. So the way you do it, how would you do stand it? Stand up over here. I can see it. And we can all see it. You wanna you wanna set your yes and you wanna set up your no first. So you wanna have your feet together on the floor. Okay. And then I would like to do my hands right here. So you could hold a food. Not yet. I like to have we're setting up we're setting up the yes and no. So you set up your <laughs> yes and no. Say unconscious mind, give me a signal for yes, give me a signal for yes, give me a signal for yes, give me a signal for yes. Forward. And then unconscious mind, give me a signal for no, give me a signal for no, give me a signal for no. For me today, my yes is forward and my no is backward. That could change. It could change. It depends. Because some people sometimes <clears throat> like to change the polarity, and so the no may be um, forward and the yes may be backward. So whatever, whatever, um, whatever your unconscious mind says for the day. So now the challenge is um, before you put something in your mouth, from now on out for the next week. Hold I it. want you to hold it in your hand and ask your unconscious mind that you're going to set it up every morning to figure out where your yes and your no is. And then after that, for an example, this is my, my call. So unconscious mind. So you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to change the languaging. You're going to ask your unconscious mind, is this beneficial? Is this beneficial? Is this beneficial, is this beneficial to my me? body? Is this, is this beneficial for me? Is this beneficial for my body? Is this beneficial for my body? So if you hold a vitamin, if you're holding vitamins, I've done this where I had four vitamins I normally take. And I take a drink because it is beneficial to my body. And I lean backward, which for me at the time, and then I take one vitamin off, and then I, Claudia. I lean backward, and then I put another vitamin, uh, I had two left, and then I lean forward. So it didn't want me to take four. My body was four vitamins good, so I took two. So you can test the amount. So for muscle example, testing is powerful. I was talking to one of my um, girlfriends the other day, and she was talking about wine. I'm like, well, you know, sometimes your unconscious mind muscle test yes for wine, especially if you're eating or drinking a um, a red wine because there's resveratrol in it and there's um, healthy antioxidants. So maybe the amount. So if you're holding the entire bottle, most likely that's no for it. Um, though, if you say, okay, so one glass, um, is this beneficial to my body right now? And then if you move forward, then you know the amount that you can do it. Now, if Maybe you go a half a glass. What about sideways? If you go sideways, could be neutral, mm -hmm. could be. Sideways could be maybe not sure. So you maybe need to be, again, with your languaging, get more specific on the amount. Yep. Um, also you may muscle test for things that you don't feel like are really healthy because your unconscious mind may feel the energy field of something in that food that you actually need right now. It's interesting because I've muscle tested things. I'm like, there's no freaking way my unconscious mind wants this. And I just look through with it. For the moment in my life, that moment, I actually needed something in it. So just be very specific on how much you're going to take and what the food is. I really like this, by the way, folks, because um, me past i really struggled with um overeating and um also just uh, emotional eating like the right amount to eat well just the emotional eating um whenever i would get stressed out you know owning your own business and getting it and working with your husband and all the things that i love you <laughs> so my so go-to my go-to was to unconsciously so when I started muscle testing, it slowed everything down and I started paying attention to really noticing what I was putting in my body. It's incredible because when you start slowing things down, you'll notice those patterns and mindset and how that can also drain your energy later on in the series. But I started noticing patterns in my life that weren't serving me and I was using the, fu the food as a band-aid and it was actually counterproductive. The, um, for my unconscious mind because I was overeating. By the way, overeating will also drain your energy because your unconscious mind has to use so much energy to digest it and you don't need that amount. So also test on the amount that you take. Absolutely. Yeah. Food is so important what we take in. We really um, have gotten so conscious of that over the last few years um, of really making sure that it's, it's clean source well it's sourced from clean places um there's just so much stuff out there it's not healthy 
So we, um, we always have clients from time to time. They do a lot of work, cleanup work. And, well, you know, I'm still feeling weird or I'm not feeling like I should be. We always go right back to diet. What are they taking? What are they putting in their body? Yeah. Um, First thing is get in control of your mind, right? Control what goes into it, which is good body information. Yep. And then control what goes into your mouth, into your body. And also with the muscle testing, um, for me, slowing it down and being um, paying attention to what I was putting in my mouth and how I was eating it. Um, I also made me, um, the mindset when I was eating it was congruent because there was a lot of times in the past I would just be eating, but I wasn't consciously aware of it. And at the, in the background, this, um, pattern going on in my head of like, oh, it's not very healthy, but I'm going to eat it anyways. You know, just, or I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get fat and I'm eating, but I'm going to eat it anyways. La, 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 la. And so like when I was doing that, I was actually saying prayer of negativity into the food and it actually makes the food not as healthy and so by becoming conscious of what you put in your mouth and asking your own conscious mind getting this is all just building rapport with yourself the more you're building rapport with yourself the more fantastic results your body is going to be the vehicle for on the physical plane in your business your relationship and your life and what is building rapport with yourself it's trusting yourself yeah it's trusting your unconscious mind trusting that inner innate intelligence, we call it the blueprint of perfect health and healing that exists inside of you. It exists inside of all of us. Yep. It's whether or not we tap into it. That's exactly. the key. Do we tap into it? And are we able to tap into the will? And please, please, please invest in your health because you're the only person in your life. This is the only vehicle you get. You know, you're, I mean, I, let's get a little spiritual here. I believe that every came in for a mission and purpose and you chose this vehicle for a reason yep. take care of your vehicle love your vehicle communicate to your vehicle and give your vehicle the gasoline and fuel that it needs in order to get to where you want to go and start paying attention to it healthy fuel yes good fuel good vitamins and supplements yes because no one else can do what you do and your body is here to serve you just got to get in rapport with it she or he has really been wanting you to start paying attention to her absolutely which is why we enjoy hypnosis so much. Yeah. So what else? And that's it. Cool. Series one. Series one. Video one of many to come. So we hope you liked it. Um, we're gonna put all of our videos on in one place on YouTube. So check out our YouTube um, YouTube page and subscribe. Also, we want to invite you to our community. If you're watching this from my Facebook page, like come it join. and share it. Yes, please do share the. Cool. See y'all. We love you all.